Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Canari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Canari I don't know about? There's a Canari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So then, what can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. You're giving me maybes. I need proof. Then let's get you some. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitors. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general. But he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? Complicated. It's not like the minstrels make it out to me. He's not just a monster or a hero. Or maybe he's both. He was trying to change the world. He knew it couldn't happen peacefully. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my sister out of the free marches. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. But hopefully not too much fun. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood.